This morning I sat down by our observation beehive, with a cup of coffee as I often do. I noticed that a yellow jacket wasp had gotten in. Yellow jackets are predaceous wasps. They're opportunists. They will often try to sneak into a beehive to see if they can get away with stealing some honey. Uh oh, for the wasp, it looks like the bee knows she's here. When a honeybee stings an animal, including a human, it can only sting once and then it dies. When it's defending the nest against other insects, it can actually sting multiple times. The wasp at this point realizes that it's in trouble. It's exhausted. At this point it's been stung at least six or seven times and the venom is beginning to take effect. Now the bees are no longer stinging the wasp. Instead, they're biting and tugging at it. I've seen bees rip wasps completely apart. With every bite, they're applying mandibular pheromone, which is an alarm pheromone that attracts more bees to attack the wasp. The bees are now pushing, pulling, and dragging the wasp towards the entrance. She's barely resisting. Almost there. Getting close now. Watch now as this guard bee takes the bull by its horns. Or I should say the yellow jacket by its antenna. Somebody came into her house that she does not want to be there, so she's going to drag her out to the front door. The entrance is over there on the left. One final struggle before they throw her out of the hive. Here we are now outside. There is the entrance tube. Don't blink or you'll miss it. There she goes. Here it is again in slow motion. The bee flew off, carrying the yellow jacket, almost her own body weight. She dropped it off down in the canyon. And that's the end of that.